When it comes to mornings, I cannot start my day. I cannot. I cannot start my. I cannot start my day. Women are interrupted at a disproportionately higher rate than men. Kelly. Hey, I'm sorry, go ahead. These interruptions... Hey, hey, Mrs. <laughs> shut up. These interruptions have given rise to the ends of women's sentences, a speech affect known as uptalk, high-rising intonation, or my least favorite, valley girl speak. Ah, oh, as if! The people who've adopted talking like this have received some pretty brutal feedback. Up talk will make you sound tentative and weak. A result of lack of self-confidence. It's really f- annoying. Up talk came into practice for a strategic purpose. Up talk is the polite way to challenge the listener to interrupt you. Like, you want to take this outside, Chad from accounting? Rather than telling men to stop interrupting, we're telling women to change the way they speak. Be more assertive, be strong, and above all else, there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball! Men exhibit the vocal patterns women are disproportionately eviscerated for. The gender differences we observe in language are socialized differences and are not biologically based. Even Barack Obama, who's faced plenty of criticism during his term, couldn't rank his oratory skills in the top 10. Uh, 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 some of these issues. Women's speech is constantly up for debate but we don't see half as many listicles encouraging men to change their speech patterns or their bias. So is it the way women speak that society has a problem with? Or is it just women talking? I'm like so tired of accommodating and I just want to be heard. Sorry if that sounds rude.